Summer temperatures can exceed 40 degrees Celsius here in the Karadakh in the Kurdistan region of Iraq. That's why biologist Hanna Raza and her colleague Koresh Ararat like to get an early start. They're looking for traces of the biggest predator here, a leopard that's considered the spirit of the Karadakh. The leopard is a flagship species, so it's very important. It's, on, it's a top predator, so it's on top of the food chain. The Persian leopard is virtually invisible. People who live here in the mountains of Karadakh know of the leopard, but very few have ever seen it. Even Hanna Raza, who has been working and doing research here for years now, has never encountered a leopard in the wild. That's why they use camera traps. So this is the wild goat. Um, we get a lot of pictures of them on our camera traps, which is a good um, indicator of the prey av availability for the Persian leopard. This is one of the reasons why we get the Persian leopard, actually. It seems this morning we got a lot of pictures of mammals, different mammal species, and also a lot of birds. We have um, the wild goat. We have uh, the gray wolf, jackal, fox, wildcat, the Asiatic wildcat as well. The leopards have to compete with wolves for their prey, and occasionally other leopards. But Persian leopards have become very rare in these mountains. So this leopard is the first photographic record of the Persian leopard for Iraq that we had. Uh, and this, through this, we dis rediscovered the Persian leopard in 2011. This one is a new individual that we discovered in Karada in 2017. And this way, we know for sure that we have three adult leopards living and roaming these mountains. Worldwide, the population of Persian leopards is estimated at less than 1,300. The graceful yet ferocious big cat is listed as endangered. The conservationists climb the steep rocky terrain as often as possible. They haven't given up hope of spotting a leopard on one of the other cliffs. This is its main hunting ground. This is the a typical uh, habitat for the leopard. The Persian leopard normally prefers oak forest uh, and rocky areas. So what they do is when they hunt, they normally sit on a tree or under a tree and looking out and overlooking what is going on there. And then when once they locate a prey, they just jump down the mountain. It's easier for them because they're so powerful and they jump so high as well. And once they're lucky to get the prey, then they drag it to a tr onto a tree and then that's where they eat it. The fate of the Persian leopard is dependent on its habitat. Four decades of war, violence and human migration in Iraq have left their mark on both people and animals here. The strength of the leopards could, could be compared to the strength of human beings, especially Kurds who uh, withstood a lot of conflict and unrest in our region. My family is a Peshmerga family. Peshmerga is freedom fighters, those who fought against Saddam Hussein. So I was born in the mountains while my parents were actually fighting against the regime. And my connection with nature and the mountains goes that long. And I felt that as I grew up, that my parents fought for the mountains, but now there's nothing to see on the mountains. Uh, so I am striving to see wildlife back again on the mountains. Like if you see this mountain without animals, and there's no point of them. For years now, Hanna Raza has been negotiating with Iraqi authorities to establish a protected area in Karadakh. Her efforts seem to have paid off. 2,300 hectares of mountainous terrain are to be designated a nature reserve for the leopards. The locals have to be convinced as well. Years of unrest have forced people to leave, so there aren't many left and the younger generation often look for jobs in the big cities. But Atta Mohammed Saleh stayed. For me, the leopard is a kind of natural heritage. I'd like to see more of them in these mountains. The new nature reserve is also meant to attract tourists, 
a much-needed source of income. A tourist lodge is currently being built with the support of the International Union for Conservation of Nature. I understand that a lot of people wouldn't expect that this, you know, Iraq is for vacation and for having fun, but actually I can um, promise that this region is very safe. But the first visitors are not the guests they were hoping for. Oil reserves are believed to be situated along the border of the protected area. Even though the oil company is considering ways to support the reserve, drilling would nevertheless be inevitable. After half an hour, the unwelcome visitors leave. My personal thinking is that oil um, and oil exploration is one of the biggest negative impacts on the environment. And no matter how much uh, they try, they would still leave a big footprint on the environment. The isolation of the mountains in the Kurdistan region is the best protection for Iraq's leopards. Only if the area is left untouched, says Hanna Raza, does the spirit of the Karadakh have a chance. My vision for this future, and especially the um, conservation of wildlife particularly, is to have a network of protected areas established for our region, to have more prosperity and to have more peace for the local people and the local communities that live around them and also for the wildlife.